Hello beautiful soul, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and today is August 12th, the end of the Lionsgate portal, so most people believe. However, I have been really connecting with the energies and something big has shifted energetically. And as I was tuning in, more information came into my field and I feel that this is actually the start of Lionsgate, the start of Leo season. We haven't even gotten to Lionsgate yet. And so I'm gonna share a little bit more about what has shifted. So it's not wrong that 888 was a massive, major, energetic day. There was a major portal because we give it energy number one and there was some master time code recalibration that began in 2017 that it just so happened that 888 was this really powerful alignment that connected to that time code recalibration. There's so much happening in the collective, so much shifting and new information and consciousness is continually streaming into the planet through all these solar flares. So there's a lot of new information. So it's not that the old stuff was wrong for that time, but as we continue to evolve in our consciousness and to ascend in our frequency, we are going to realize more and more that we only scratched the surface of the iceberg. It wasn't even the tip of the iceberg. We only barely scratched the surface of the information that is available to us regarding this journey of ascension and spiritual awakening. So what I've been feeling, and I've always gotten very highly activated around the Lionsgate portal the last two years, I hosted eight day journeys, the golden keys to abundance, which were connected to the chakras. And it was a very highly activating time for me. And this year, also very highly activating. I was opened up, but the energy felt so different. And I was feeling into it. I got this holy trinity, infinity gateway energy, which I absolutely still felt. But it felt a lot more feminine, a lot more healing and emotional than it did about manifestation, lion, brave, heart, go, go, go energy. And yes, there's duality always. We also have the infinity energy with the eight, which is karmic balancing. So we did have both masculine and feminine energetics coming up to be integrated. But what I really felt and what I know a lot of people in the collective felt was more of this motherly energy coming up to do heart healing, to bring it into balance because it's been so imbalanced. And so rather than this like high vibe, expansive, empowering, open-hearted energy, which is actually, it was meant to be cracked open, right? So we did a lot of Emerald Heart, Emerald Ray healing in my container this past 888, last week, and it was powerful. The energy was really high frequency, what came through. It was a beautiful journey, but the energy was actually very, very high, and deep cellular healing is what came through. But uh, this new energy, this new information has been coming through and I was getting Holy Trinity beyond just that date. And then more information came into my field to anchor that in. It's like, it's been on the sidelines, but then it felt very affirming. The way it came into my field, I wasn't seeking it out. That if we attune to the galactic alignments, that the lion's gate really doesn't happen until the sun is in alignment with Regulus, which is the heart of the lion, which happens on August 22nd. And when we look at the galactic alignments, galactic astrology, Leo season begins around now. And, you know, I, off the top of my head, I don't have the precise dates because we're really shifting our understanding because when we go by that zodiac, it's also 13 signs in the zodiac instead of 12. So there's a lot shifting. And what came into my field just yesterday was this idea that not only is it more in alignment galactically 
to have Lionsgate fall around August 22nd, which is going to be actually genuinely in the heart of Leo season if we align with the galactic astrology. And therefore we have that powerful, dynamic, heart opening, more masculine energy coming through. So it's like the courage, the brave heart of the lion activating us into aligned action is what I'm feeling. And I felt like 888 was more of a portal of initiation. And in the past years, I haven't felt that way. And so what came into my field was that last year, there were planetary upgrades that occurred. So in 2023, we actually did shift. The planetary grid network shifted from this lunar matrix into the solar zodiac, into the galactic alignment. So just as feminine consciousness is rising out of the lunar feminine and into the solar feminine, we had this happen on the planetary grid as well. So this is shifting. We, we know time is an illusion. This idea of time kept coming up, how time didn't feel real, how it kept like dilating and contracting and expanding and not feeling like we really had the same grasp on it as we used to. And that's, there's a lot of energetic reasoning for this is because we are shifting our attunement into a more galactic perspective of time, a more solar perspective, which is connected to the galactic energies and the galactic alignments. And the Gregorian calendar only holds power on these portal dates because we give it collective power and energy. It doesn't mean it's false, but truly we are the creators of a reality. We can create a portal day any day we want. And in truth, we should choose to show up that way every single day and at the same time we must remember the cycles that we are working with i do believe eventually we can outcreate the you know mercury retrogrades and all of that because we are powerful creators of our reality but until we reach that ascended consciousness where we've fully purified our beings these alignments assist us in working with the shadows within our ego consciousness the ego isn't bad, but it does help point the way to the shadows we hold within. And so what I feel the tropical zodiac helps us to do is to really connect with our ego identity, which is the false matrix overlay, and to transcend, to integrate the wisdom and to transcend the limitation of the ego so that we can step into our solar soul aspects that is in alignment with a more galactic astrology which we would ca call sidereal or true sky astrology so this is a whole huge topic that may require a great deal of recalibration because it may be triggering for some people to detach from their birth chart from their tropical zodiac birth chart. And I do also wanna make the distinction, sidereal, true sky, there is a difference between those systems and the Vedic system. I'm not an absolute expert in any of this. And I feel that, you know, I, I was kind of working on more energetic layers of astrological alignments rather than getting into the nitty gritty because of this major shift occurring. So I feel it on a visceral level and then information will come into my field to affirm and to help me anchor into this new information and energy that's coming in. So as we do this, we are integrating our ego consciousness into our soul consciousness and it's part of the ascension so we are now recalibrating to a solar galactic alignment which has lion's gate in the end of august august 22nd and what i felt with this holy trinity gateway coming through with the 888 as the mother 822 august 22nd as the father and then uh, in September, on September 
9-11 actually is what I felt to be in alignment with the birth of the crystal holy child. Crystalline consciousness purified into our innocence of being. This is the energy that I have been feeling coming through. And it's been this cosmic heart opening, this sacred cosmic heart gateway is the energy that I was getting initially, but I realized it's this greater gateway. And then somebody else called it the portal of grace on the 22nd. And the reason that there is a lot more uh, alignment is, well, it's not just the reason. There are a lot more alignments on August 22nd that really connects to an actual lion's gate because we are then in the cradle of Lyra, the Lyran constellation, which is the feline beings and one of the highest dimensional frequencies of consciousness. Um, the cradle of Lyra, we could call it the cradle of civilization for the, the galaxy if you will. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard it said that way, but uh, <laughs> it's it's where the consciousness is meant to originate according to many people. And I did just see 111 on the clock out of the corner of my eye. So there's that alignment. And then, and I'm seeing 1111. It does feel more like this gateway energy it is in alignment with August 22nd. We have Regal of Orion is also in alignment with Sirius. So we have all these alignments with Sirius that are meant to be activating these gateways. And Sirius is said to have the heliacal rising around 8-8, but it's not actually always on 8-8. And there are some people who, it's a little confusing because some people, somebody was like, no, it was in the middle of July. The Sun-Sirius conjunction was absolutely in the beginning of July, which opens this greater portal over the year and what I feel is this kind of opening up to higher consciousness that happens throughout the entire summer and then we anchor it in through Virgo season which begins in September. I would be a Virgo according to the traditional system but I'm actually Leo according to the uh, the galactic astrology. So I now am working with that duality as well uh, personally but Virgo would then anchor it into the body giving birth to this onto earth is how we can look at it. So this is what I've been feeling and I've been getting this affirmation left and right coming into my field. I'm not saying that I'm absolutely right because I also know that we are scratching the surface of truth with a capital T of this higher consciousness that is still coming into the planet for us all to connect with as our matrix overlays on our consciousness are being dissolved. We are dissolving the inverted matrix overlay from our consciousness, from our minds, from our hearts, and from our energetic field. So we are now restoring original organic blueprints that we hold within. In the matrix, we can also see it as as the mind, right? So we're reversing the illusions of the distorted inverted matrix that has created this distorted inverted reality and allowed us to be in this prison world, in this world of enslavement is really what it is, the enslavement of our consciousness, of our mind, of our heart, of our soul, of our energy field. So it, it, we've been siphoned, we've been shut down, and now we are reclaiming all these aspects of self. And why it's important to align with these dates is that it allows us to really or align with the organic natural truth of creation, of creation consciousness. So it is important. And while we can be powerful creators of our reality each and every single day, it is important for us to correct the misalignments and the distortions in order to fully align with the organic truth of our reality. So there's a lot of deconditioning that happens with this. And even those have, who have been on the path, they might find themselves confronted with new information that may contradict or trigger them a bit because it is 
not in alignment with their original teachings, which they may be attached to. And that's part of, uh, you know, working through the spiritual ego as well as the, um, the human ego, right? So there's <laughs> so many layers of this process. And I just find it all to be so fascinating and so beautiful because this is an inner evolution. It's an evolution of consciousness and it's a blossoming of the heart of humanity. We are liberating the heart of humanity. We are blossoming open. Actually, the visual that I got in meditation, I shared about on the 888 uh, ceremony that I hosted. And yeah, it was really beautiful. This visualization of like all the souls being freed and it was connected to the little mermaid. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you'd like to receive the replay, which has that powerful emerald heart activation working with the emerald ray of healing, it's a very kind of precise form of healing. It was really interesting, all the information that wanted to come through that day as well. Um, so that's available. And it's also part of a package, this cosmic grace uh, heart of the lion package that I decided to create this holy trinity heart codes cosmic grace holy trinity heart codes is what I've called the holy trinity gateway package where I'm going to be hosting two more ceremonies in alignment with these two other dates that I mentioned 822 and 911 to really anchor in the divine masculine holy father frequencies on 822 the heart of the line opening up to activate us into our highest potential and into action so this would be really truly the heart of leo season and that dynamic masculine action energy coming through if we're attuning now to solar alignments and the galactic alignments, and then that rebirth energy coming through in September, the rebirth uh, bringing to earth of the Christ consciousness blueprint, the sacred blueprint blossoming within our crystalline hearts as the holy child that we are. So this is what has coalesced as I've received all these pieces of information and you can access each one individually but I definitely highly encourage the purchase of the um the full series it's very accessible also because it uh it works all together it connects together really beautifully and this will all be available inside a very special creation that is going to be coming soon as well and i also have my free new earth frequency higher self activation that came through last year on the summer solstice and it is working with the energies of the keys that came through um the golden keys to abundance and anchoring into our higher self frequency it, it, I feel like it would be very helpful to go in conjunction with last week's as well. That's available for free. It's also a bonus when you access the, um, the recording or the full cosmic heart opening Trinity, Holy Trinity codes. <laughs> I have so many pieces of information coming through my mind right now. I will drop all the information below. I would love to hear how the energies have felt for you during this very, very activating and also potent time. A lot of heaviness coming up for a lot of people because there has just been so much energy. We're in the midst of a solar storm. It was sunny, clear blue skies this morning where I am at and now the clouds have rolled in again. And <laughs> so and it was really fascinating because it was actually pouring rain over the Lion's Gate and that's not been the experience the last couple of years. So I know it's been sunny all summer. <laughs> so it felt like this emotional energy affirmation of the cleansing and purification of the water bodies that was us calling on us to work with so this this purification this purity energy coming through very powerfully so that we can really embody that higher frequency level of being that is in alignment with embodiment of christ consciousness so this is what it's all about 
So it's actually very practical. There's a real science to spirituality. And this is part of what the resurrection is about, the resurrection of organic truth and spiritual consciousness and the fact that we are all spiritual beings. And there's a real process to this. So if this resonates, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear how this portal, these energies have been for you in the comments below. And again, I'll share all the links for all the goodies. And um, yeah, I would so appreciate the like, subscribes, comments so this information can get out there to other people. That's how the algorithm works. So I appreciate the assistance on that end. <laughs> and I'm sending you much love onward and upward and ooh, so much magic coming. See you soon.